Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Proverbs 9. Uh, the proverb today is, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Okay, uh, let's, look at the, let's look at the note here. Uh, the proverb is used to express the idea that attention tends to be given to those that complain the loudest, or maybe something that is the most noticeable. The idea really originally comes from, like, a car. If you've ever had a car, you know, every now and then you should put some grease on the wheel around the bolts or something like that. Uh, and if you don't do that, oh, car tire may squeak. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, that's the one that gets the attention. So that's the one that's calling you. So that one would be greased first, obviously. So um, let's look at some examples of how we use it, especially with people. Uh, if you are, uh, example number one, if you are babysitting a number of infants at the same time, time, always change the diaper of any baby that is crying first. Yeah, you'd probably do that anyway, because that's a, a really annoying sound. <laughs> but uh, that's what we say. The squeaky wheel always gets the grease. This is the way we would use it. Good. And the second example here, uh, always take care of any customers uh, that are complaining loudly first. It doesn't look good if other customers see someone complaining. Yeah, anyone ever had a business, uh, you know, you know that if someone is complaining, you know, openly in a store and other customers there, it makes it a very uncomfortable feeling. So they might tell their employees that they're training, well, take care of that person first because it makes the whole uh, store or the whole atmosphere be negative or bad, you know, just get them out of the way. So uh, this is then we might follow with, remember, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So this is sort of an example of how we use the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Okay, I hope you got it. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.